this is Daily 75 Games. You are watching a guide on Miss Moore for Project 1999 EverQuest. Now, we are in Lesser Fay Dark right now, and we are entering the uh, very beginning part of the zone. I don't see any corpses. Usually there's corpses on the outside. That guy looked pretty cool. Uh, I passed by the Dark Elf camp on the way to here, and all the Dark Elves are killed. And I've never seen that. I assume some high levels went through and destroyed them. I'm not exactly sure what level they are. I think they're between 30 and 40, maybe even up to 45. But uh, it's kind of nice to see them go down. Um, just because they're kind of a thorn on the side of everyone running through the zone. Unless, unless of course, you are, I guess, a Dark Elf troll or ogre. Okay, we are inside, and there's always a bunch of corpses around here. What the heck did I just see that for? It must be through the walls. Okay, so this is the kind of like the entrance. Uh, they call this the pond area here. And uh, it's where a group of uh, level 20 to 30 can start pulling around the area. Spawns happen all throughout here. Now this, actually, I've never been in there, and I'm not going to go there this time. Uh, I think that a lot of undead I can stealth by. Uh, as a rogue, but uh, I'm not going to test it. It will take a long time to travel through everywhere. So uh, there isn't much to read on Mistmore Castle, especially not comparing to, say, something like uh, Akanon. But uh, it's interesting nonetheless. There is a mob right there. You can see its shadow. So uh, what is this? It's called the Tower, where Garten Viswin spawns, dropping glowing iron pike, common, and chestplate of the dark flame rare. Now, I could be attacked by... Uh, I'm not actually very good in combat. Uh, when I see something, I will start hiding. But usually the pond uh, group takes care of everybody. They have a gargoyle. They're currently fighting right there. Gargoyles spawn around the base of the tower that they can pull. And they often drop uh, nice little uh, gargoyle eyes that sell for a few plat each. I'm being attacked by Initiate Familiar. Well, I'll try it. Uh, hopefully none other will spawn, which actually usually is the case. They start spawning, and, and I am not meaning to do this. Yes, thank you. He probably thinks I was trying to take... Let's see, let's... Um, hide is gone. Yeah, actually, that thing did a lot of damage to me. Um, hmm. I wonder if I can get a sow. <laughs> a sow would be nice. Usually there's a mob. This is like the... Uh, I'm not sure what the official name is. It's not even listed, actually. Um, some people call it the caves, or... Not really caves, but uh, yeah, I could be attacked here. I might have to do a run out a few times. Would have been better if I actually brought somebody um, a little bit uh, higher. So this is the graveyard. This is actually one of my more favorite places. Uh, I've done a, a video or two, one real video out here. I'm actually going to sit down and rest because I was actually pummeled a bit. So I'll be back when I'm back up to full health. Okay, I'm almost back at maximum. This is a very... Uh, I, I just like this area. There's a few drops that are nice. Uh, I think you need to be at least level 25. 25 to 30, I think, is optimum to be in the graveyard. But uh, there's also other areas around level 30 that you can go that are well worth it, too. Um, level 30 at the pond, you should be leaving, because really the, a lot of the mobs, they start turning green. Yeah, I really wish I had a cell. So I'm, I'm turning, actually going sideways. It just feels like I'm moving quicker. Uh, perhaps Terex would have been a good pick because he has uh, invisibility and he has uh, also invisibility on dead. But I think um, in invisibility in general would, would probably suffice. I don't need to go like into all the really tough areas. <laughs> so I'm crab walking down here. So I think it's a lot faster and <laughs> not even moving. A lot faster than going this slow. Like, this is ridiculous. Okay, so there's a few things in this area. Who's up? Spiritish and Sill. I think someone's killing it, or no? Maybe it just buffed itself. Uh, I'm not sure if there's anyone in the castle entrance. Would be nice if there is. Uh, I can't even see my where I am. I'm right there. Okay, let's go up. Up as fast as I go in stealth mode. Because otherwise, I'm sitting duck for anything, especially uh, past the pond area. Uh, solo. I'm not one of those uh, epic wielding rogues that could take on orange or yellows. So I've seen a few of them around. Those those are awesome, but uh, 
that's not me. So this is actually a fun group. Um, hit off Himmler. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've never been here. I, I've fought here. I've, I've been here. And I was waiting for a group once, but never got in there. Um, I don't think I've actually been past here either. So I don't think that anything... Like, I know Undead cannot see through my stealth. And uh, regular mobs cannot. But uh, bosses and any mobs that um, have see invisible can see through my little stealth thing I have going on here. Okay, so that was a ca I'm in the castle. Never been here before, actually. Deathly Usher. Just gonna con everything, make sure it cannot see through. Oh, that's a gargoyle. That's a mob right there. I thought it was part of the uh, decorations. Okay, so um, I am what's I'm in what's considered eight inside uh, the wiki. Now there should be stairs. Ooh, another one just spawned right here. Should be stairs around here somewhere. There's gargoyles all through here. No wonder there's so many dead ones out front. Shadowy Scrivener. Deathly Usher. Yeah, things that would murder me. Quite brutally. Glyph Sentry. That's like the uh, piano room. <laughs> it's, uh... Oh, it actually does have here. It says piano. That's... Really? I thought... Okay. Well, I need to get my bearings. Uh, I don't think that this is the piano. Because I... If I'm heading south, it's not. Yeah, it's not. I don't think so. Oh, wait. Um, yeah, we need to go back. So, I'll be right back. Okay, I got turned around a little bit because I have no experience being here before. But uh, where I am is called the Entry Hall. And so up up these stairs is a door past this Deathly Usher. And now that leads... Where the heck does that lead? Um, leads up to the library in room to south spawns an advisor who drops the advisor robe. Now I've had that before on my wizard. Then there's the throne room where Princess Charista spawns. Charista? And the bath where Lazna Sharoon spawns who drops diamond on earrings common and platinum skull earrings rare and zikoto who drops hilt of soul fire okay so now let's continue on that that uh thing that actually said piano room piano but it's actually a different one it's ballroom where that um where it was where the piano was i'm not sure i guess there's multiple pianos right here so it says ballroom now, I'm just going by what the wiki says. I don't really have any personal experience in this area, as you can tell. Um, ballroom where gypsies and Minthi Davisi spawns. Drops loot of the gypsy, princess, common, and miss more battle drums, rare. So, um, there should be a door down here. And there should also be a door over here. A will sapper. Oh, these things are lovely. <laughs> Dark elf vampires. Okay, so, um, yeah, there really should be a door. Like, maybe it's right here? Not sure where this is. Oh, I'm back in the frickin' number eight. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting myself turned around here. Well, if nothing can see through my invisibility, um, I should look up the uh, Mayan Mismore, the uh, vampire who runs the whole show. See if they see through invisibility. He very well might. And what's through this door? Well, this is the back. Now, um, accordingly, down here, more gargoyles. They're everywhere. Leering gargoyle. Excuse me. Um, the ambassador room is right in here, where negotiator and gypsy ambassador spawn. So we'll go see. This is the ambassador room. Yep. Um, the werewolf right here. A thought defiler. Hmm, interesting. 
Now, down this way, if I can get over here, Deathly Herald, um, this should be number 16 on the map. Deathly Harbinger. Now, uh, of course, the good spawns are always rare. Now, this is number 60 in the kitchen. And 17, 18 is down here. This guy, can she see through? No, cannot. Okay, so what's in here? Butler Sinkal. Interesting. Uh... This is a servant room where Butler Sinkal spawns, drops a cape of Midnight Mist, common, and Butler Sinkal's Fang, which is rare. Now, looking at this, there should be another door down this hallway. And this, this room right here. Dark Offer, a Deathly Usher inside, more gargoyles. This room is servant room where Maid Isis spawns, drops the Nightshade Wreath, common, and Maid Isis Fang, rare. Okay, so on our way back, crab walking. Let's see. Is it this way I came? No, that's the uh, um, kitchen, so continue on down here. I hear gargoyles flying around me. Which is kind of strange. Um, because usually they sit there in their stone-like position. Now, um, at least I know exactly where I am. Uh, this is back in the ballroom. Now, accordingly, I'm not sure how, but there's supposed to be a way through here, but... This is the way to Mayon Mistmore. Is so it something you need to click? Might not be a good idea if I do go there. However, there's a piano room which is close by. And, well, we can go look at the piano room. There's also something just beyond there. I'm not sure if I can get there from there, but... Oh, it looks like a secret door to the south of the piano room, then a stairs up. And there's a wall here. Okay, so... Let's go into the piano room. A gypsy dancer. Strange. Is that like a vampire gypsy? Nope. Oh, looks like a regular old gypsy to me. Blue to me at level 27. Okay, so here, this should lead, hopefully not to my death. This is the piano room. Oh, cool. There's doors right here. I did want to come out to here as well. Wow. A uh, hemo and eno enologist. Yeah, this would be death in a second for me. A soul invigling. <laughs> the names. And what's this? That's a player over there. Okay, so where I am is number six. It's the courtyard where hemo and enologists spawn. They drop the blood of spirits, and down there by that player down there is the fountain where a cloaked dampire spawns, drops blood of the dampire, common, and hooded black cloak, rare. I've had the hooded black cloak, actually. Uh, it was worth 400 plat. It was given to me. Given to uh, Sarkis, actually. So maybe this person is camping the dampire? Looks like a, a ranger. Maybe a warrior. Nope. Druid. Got a book. Oh, here it is. Here's the fountain. So I think that this druid is after the cloaked vampire. Probably can see me in my stealth. Alright, so the only thing left is Mayon Mistmore. Now I'm going to be right back because I don't know if you can see through invisibility. Okay, apparently Mayon Mistmore only spawned once on the live servers and uh, only appears in Project 99 with GM Events. Very, very odd. So we will not be seeing my own Mistmore. There's absolutely nothing I or anybody except for a GM could do about that. Um, I'm looking at this. It shows a secret door in the piano room to the south. Is that a coffin? I'm not sure. Is it right through here? 
Is a secret door you gotta click on something to open? Because... I am not sure, but perhaps that's closed off on... There's nothing I can do about it. Hmm. Yeah, apparently, uh, down south, through a few doors, um, it's my own Miss Moore's coffin room. I, I guess some people have made it there, otherwise you'd never know. Not sure how to get through there, but uh, maybe that's my own Miss Moore right there. Dark elves all over the place. Uh, undead, well, not undead, they're, well, vampires are undead, but they don't seem undead-like to me. Miss Moore Castle. Dangers. Castle Miss Moore is filled from one end to the other with dark elves in thrall of their lord and undead raised and controlled by him. Since my young Miss Moore considers all to be his enemies, everyone who enters here will be attacked viciously and relentlessly by his followers. Dark elves and other creatures roam the castle during the day and at night. The undead rise to roam the castle, replacing many of the daytime creatures. Invisibility works on the daytime monsters and invisibility versus undead only on the undead creatures. This area is lethal for someone trying to solo. It simply is not possible. The monsters here are so tough and spawn so quickly and close together that trying to pull one monster that you could gain experience from will eventually result in your death. As such, everyone must hunt in groups for safety in numbers. The worst danger in this zone is the trains. The biggest reason for this is that most of the trains come from areas farther in, like the castle itself, and on the way out, every creature along the way will join in. All of these trains pass directly through the middle of the outer area between the tower and the lake on their way to the narrow corridor to the zone edge. The only ways to avoid these trains are to be either behind the lake or the tower or to zone. Also, zone shuts down after a large train since it is also lethal to pull from the line of returning monsters as they walk slowly back to the castle. The pathing is such that they run around a little, gathering friends before coming after you, invariably pulling in friends. I have never entered Castle Mistmore with fewer than five bodies littering the entry hallway. These monsters will also hang around the entrance for some time before walking back, so it is safer at all times, if possible, to zone in invisible because you never know who you'll meet on their side. Benefits. Although dangerous, this zone is arguably some of the best experiences for any zone in the game, assuming you don't die frequently within. The spawn rates are fast, and creatures of similar strength tend to spawn very near each other, so a group can pull a small area with good results without encountering more than they can handle. Loot is also good, as the Dark Elves often drop platinum, runes, and words, and the Gargoyles drop Gargoyle Eyes, which are worth at least several plat platinum each. The other benefit of the zone is that nobody who hunts in the front need die. This may be a bold statement, but if a group is smart, everyone has Spirit of the Wolf on when they when hunting here, and whenever there is a question that you may have more than you can handle, whether from a bad pull or some train, every person should simply zone. The zone edge is very near, and if nobody tries to be a hero, nobody should die. Accidents will happen, and Deep Castle trains have monsters capable of dealing out 500 or more hit points of damage with one spell, but overall it is a safe place to hunt. Traveling to and from, Castle Mistmore is reached by traveling through Lesser Fay Dark to the western edge of its southern border. An ancient druid ring stands at the entrance leading into the zone. Most of the Lesser Fay Dark can be traveled safely by those who are powerful enough to fight in Mistmore, but care must be taken to avoid the Brownie Camp to the north and the Shadowed Men Camp to the east. Dark elves that are quite powerful have taken up residence in an abandoned camp along the southern, ed the southern edge of the zone now as well, so do not run along the southern edge as a way of finding the tunnel to the castle. Now here is the map of Mistmore itself. With my handy map location key, I will go over the numbers. Number one is the graveyard. This is, uh, I've showed this in one of my videos or two. Uh, Infamiliar spawns who drops a sacrificial dagger. There's the bloodstone eye patch, is, uh, comes off that one as well. And there's a glyph ghoul who drops a vial of vampire blood and crested Mistmore shield. Number two. Tomb with Coffin, out back is Scytheny, an outcast Shadow Man. He drops the robe of the Keeper, and there's the secret entrance leading one way to the jail. Number three is the Pit. Number four is the Canyon, where En Yitti spawns, drops Rune of Fortune, and Black Dyer. Uh, the Canyon was what people were calling it uh, between the graveyard and the pond, uh, that narrow entrance, but that's officially not really the Canyon, I guess, because this comes from the... Uh, wiki itself. Number five is a jail where a deathly usher spawns who drops black silk gloves. Secret door has trap that strips off invisibility spells. Stairs is where an avenging catliff spawns who drops 
Crested Spalders, common, and Crested Helm, rare. And also, Cleric Quest item spawns here. Number six is the Courtyard, where Hemo and Yologist spawn. Drops Blood Spirits. I think I've gone over a few of these. Uh, number seven is the Fountain, where Cloak Dampire spawns. Drops Blood of the Dampire, common, and Hood of Black Cloak, rare. Number eight is the Entry Hall. Number nine is Piano. No, we're into the castle now. Number 10 is the ballroom where gypsies with Minthi Davisi spawn. Uh, drops loot of the gypsy princess is common and Miss Moore battle drums rare. 11 is ambassador room where negotiator and gypsy ambassador spawn. Number 12 is the corner. Number 13 is the tower where Garten Viswin spawns. Drops glowing iron pike common and chest plate of the dark flame rare. That sounds pretty neat actually. Chest plate of the dark flame. 14 is Torture Chamber. 15 is Mayong Miss Moore's Coffin Room, which I never got to show you guys because I didn't know how to get there. 16 is the Kitchen. 17 is the Servant Room where made Isis? Isis? Two S's. Three S's in, in the word. Isis spawns. Drops Nightshade Wreath, common, and made Isis Fangs, rare. 18 is the Servant Room where Butler Sincall spawns. Drops Cape of Midnight Mist, common, and Butler Sincall's Fang, rare. I think we saw him. Number 19 is the library. In room to south spawns an advisor who drops advisor robe. 20 is the throne room where Princess Charista spawns. 21 is the bath where Lasna Sharoon spawns who drops diamondine earring, common, and platinum skull earring, rare. And Zikoto who drops hilt of soul fire. 22 is a bedroom. And that would do it for the map location key. So I think that that's about as much as I can show you from a, a class that really shouldn't be going past the graveyard and um, shouldn't be in Mismore without a Sal at all. Uh, Deathly Harbinger, do not underestimate the might of Mismore. I hope that's not after me <laughs> because I'll be dead. And uh, so I guess there's nothing more to do. I guess I'll end the video here, guys. I'm sorry I can't really show you uh, much action here. I've never really been here. I suppose at 42 I could come and do everything inside the castle uh, in, with a group, but uh, this is the next kind of level I'd like to get into. I think it's like level 30 plus kind of thing. Meat shield tank tank and stuff from in indignation. Alright guys, going to end the video here. Thanks for watching, and of course uh, I'll be making more guides next week. <laughs>